Hi everyone. I know some of you have asked me for more specific information about how to deal with your uh, thesis statement. So what I'd like to do is uh, go through a few things with you and let's start the slideshow. Thesis statements, how to make them strong. Okay, um, being a little melodramatic there, but basically um, a strong thesis statement is going to guide you through your entire paper. It becomes the roadmap. So how are you going to do it? Well, one of the easiest ways to do it is to look at your research question. Um, and then you answer it. And then you have the start of your thesis. For example, my thesis or my research question was, why is Wi-Fi the single most negative invention in the last 50 years? So I just answer it. Wi-Fi is the single most negative invention in the last 50 years because it makes access to the Internet ubiquitous ubiquitous. I should have chosen a word that I could pronounce, huh? But that was a good word. So basically you restate what your question was, whatever research question you had. Oops, I always do this. Restate whatever research question you had into a sentence and you've got a thesis statement. Now if you're saying, oh, I still don't know how to write my paper from that, I would go to this website here. And I have some screenshots of what I did at the website. First of all, the website is a thesis generator from a writing center in Ashford, uh, Ashford College. Excuse me. It's warm out there, you know, so I got a drink. Plus, I did water exercise this morning. That's why my hair looks like it does. And I'm always really thirsty after that. They really work you in that pool, I'll tell you. Okay. So, back to thesis statements. Thesis statement guide development tool, and this is a really good tool. I mean it. It's a great tool. State my topic. My topic is Wi-Fi is the most negative invention in 50 years. And so, I got to express, state your opinion about it. Okay, I leave out I believe because we know you believe you're writing this, okay? Wi-Fi is the most negative invention for American society in 50 years. I added who. I made it a little bit more specific. And, I, and I'm taking a stance. I was almost taking a stance up there. So I've got that there. Then I have to give reasons to support it. My first one was you can find it almost anywhere in businesses. Um, and I might expand that as I'm writing the paper. Second things, um, having Wi-Fi disrupts relationships. So that's my second reason, another strong assertion. My next one is Wi-Fi allows the Internet to be addictive because it's there all the time. You get addicted to it. So you give three reasons why, I'm going to back up a minute, three reasons why your statement is true, or why you believe it, I should say. And then it asks you for an opposing, opposing viewpoint. Sorry, got distracted. Um, include an oppose, opposing viewpoint. So I put Wi-Fi allows anyone to have access to information anywhere, anytime. So that's my opposing viewpoint, which is probably the one I believe the most. I really don't believe this thesis, but anyway. Provide a possible title for your essay. Then you click Submit, and you get a fantastic and I mean a fantastic printout that can help you think about, don't use this word for word, but for you to think about how you are going to write your paper. It gives you a thesis statement. Wi-Fi is the most negative invention for American society for 50 years. And then it gives you another one which makes it even stronger. Even though Wi-Fi allows anyone to access information anywhere, anytime, Wi-Fi is the most negative invention for American society in 50 years. Now here, it has a period and a comma, so I would stick the comma and get rid of that period. Even though, okay, so I'm giving a concession to the other side, but I'm still stating my opinion. Then, it gives me three, another way to write my thesis statement. Wi-Fi is the most negative invention for American society in 50 years, and you get rid of that period, because Wi-Fi allows the Internet to be addictive. Having Wi-Fi disrupts relationships, and you can find Wi-Fi access almost anywhere in businesses. Now, 
this is not, in grammar, we call that you don't have parallel constructions because each one of these is different. Um, Wi-Fi allows and, well, none of them really are the same. So you want to say, um, you want to make so sure that this is all in the same type of pattern because Wi-Fi allows the Internet to be a, a addictive, it interrupts relationships, and it can be found anywhere. Then I have parallel construction. Then it gives you the thesis statement and reasons. Why I like, I, bleh, I can't even say it. Wi-Fi allows anyone to have access to information anywhere in time, comma, and get rid of the period, little w. Wi-Fi is the most negative invention for 50 years, and it puts the because. Now, again, you have to clean up the grammar, and again, you have to make this parallel because Wi-Fi allows it to be addictive, it disrupts relationships, and it can be found almost anywhere, okay? Okay, not only does it do this for you, this wonderful site, if you go here, it's going to give you a sample outline. I'm not going to go through this because I'm making this too long as it is. Gives you a sample outline. Now, don't just steal this outline. You're not going to have a good paper, but you're going to have an outline of a good paper that you can add your information to. Remember what uh, Gill says with her PIE paragraph. Um, this paragraph here gives you the, the P. You have to add the I and the E. So you can't just go through that. Okay, then it gives you a concluding paragraph. And that's it. Now those are two ways to make that thesis statement stronger. I don't have any um, student examples because this is the first time I've used this prompt with a, a 112 class. I've used it at 111 and I looked at those, pic those writings in 111 and you really don't want to see those examples, okay? Um, have a good Memorial Day weekend. I'm looking forward to uh, reading your research results over the weekend. I don't have a lot planned except going to the Dog Bowl and Frankenmuth. Um, not taking the dachshunds. They are not well behaved most of the time. Hope you have a holiday, good holiday weekend, safe, fun, and remember the reason for the weekend. It's to honor those who have uh, served in the military, who have died in serving the military.